New York City, the concrete jungle. And in this jungle, there's lots of animals. Not too far is the very lovely Fordham University, home to one of the most ferocious and terrifying predators, the Fordham Cat. I'm Will Smoot, and this is Cat Adventures with Will Smoot. Students love these cats, yet they are completely dangerous and a threat to all. Cats have flexible bodies and teeth adapted specifically for hunting small animals, such as mice, rats, or cafeteria leftovers. I'm here in the cat badlands, right outside Fordham's cafeteria. We're gonna try to get a little bit closer today. We've taunted them with skim milk, and we're gonna see if they take the bait. Once I gain their trust, I'm gonna go in and attempt to show them my love with an affectionate hug. Let's go. A group of cats is called a clouder. A male cat is called a tom. A female cat is called a molly or a queen. While young cats are usually called kittens. Cats, cats are generally uh, unpleasant, mean, and they don't like me. When I've seen the Fordham cats from afar, I don't get close to them. I do experience a strange sensation that I would describe as um, cuteness. There are cats who have survived falls from over 32 stories onto concrete, but Fordham cats can survive falls from over 33. Lately, I've been noticing a phenomenon in which students come to class with small flecks of, of cat hair on their on their clothing. And one particular case, a student uh, over the course of a series of weeks uh, was coming to class with more and more cat hair on their person until at a certain point they walked into my class absolutely covered in almost a, a cat hair suit. They sleep 70% of their lives. This cat is sitting on a bench. A bench that could be used for an old woman. Or a handicapped man. Or a handicapped woman. But the cat doesn't care. The cat takes what it can get from the tuition paying students. I'm Will Smoot and you're watching Cat Adventures. For some concern the next week uh, that student did not come to class at all and uh, they have not been in class since. I've notified the deans that they were unable to provide me with any information. The life of a cat. Lazy. Lackadaisical. This one's different though. This one seems to be watching his buddy. Crikey. Looks like we're moving closer to the buggers. Into the wildlands. Hello, kitty. They like the milk. Yes. They're watching me very intently. Cats can't taste sweetness, but they love to eat turkey, smoked salmon, cheese, sliced white bread, garlic knots, chocolate pudding cups, hard boiled eggs, chocolate donuts with sprinkles, and meat lovers pizza. They really love meat lovers pizza. Another cat's on the prowl. They're afraid. I'm not their friend. The other cats watch intently as the king drinks his milk. I'm gonna try to move closer. And the cats scared away. Cats love to drink milk. Uh, actually, cats are lactose intolerant. What? Yeah, cats shouldn't drink milk. What's gonna be a lot of cat farts? I'm gonna attempt to give the cat a hug. Now that I've gained its trust, it should love me. Not successful. Maybe with this one. Also not successful. Cats don't love me. I'm Will Smoot, and this is Cat Adventures with Will Smoot. There's a cat. Tune in next week to learn more about my own personal cat. Why is he so mean? Why won't he love me? Crikey! That's a fluffy cat! <laughs>